Hello mate and welcome to the first in a series of Reillusion videos. This one is going to be on Character Creator 4 and there's quite a lot of bits involved in this piece of software and functions that you can actually use. So what I'm going to focus on today is just creating a character from absolute scratch. So let's jump into it. All right, so here we have uh, Character Creator 4 loaded and as you can see here, in the modify tab currently I have some options and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load a neutral base and what that will do is it will take a couple of minutes and it will load into the scene our default character. So here we have a default character loaded nice and quickly and as you can see completely naked lady and we're going to make some adjustments to it. In the modify tab at the top here you can see that we can adjust the name of the character where it currently says CC3 base plus so what we'll just do is we'll just call this um, Testilia or something like that. I don't know, like some whatever. Call it whatever you want. <laughs> and then you can see there are a number of other options down here that we can play with. But right now we're just going to adjust the morphs. So there's a character shape up here that looks like a square being pushed in from the side. And if you hover over it, you can see the tooltip says morphs. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now we click on that. And what you can see first and foremost is a number of options here. And if you select actor, what you can do is you can actually narrow down which part of the character you want to adjust. So we've got some full body ones. So for example, we can adjust it to be a CC3 plus neutral female just by dragging that slider all the way up there. And you can have any number combinations here as well. We've got CC3 base female if you're used to working with the previous generation, the character creator 3. A female if I was to drag the CC3 plus down and then drag CC3 base female up you can see that we get a slightly different shape and you've got a number of options here and what you can do you can mix and match so I could add like 57% uh, neutral female and I could add a little bit of this Catherine character as well so you can get a kind of mix and match of the overall base shape then we can go into different options so I can go click on shoulder here and I can actually increase the size of her shoulders to make her look slightly crazy and I can also reduce that I can go with shoulder width if I think that she wants to have slightly wider shoulders now quick tip if you hold down the alt key you can actually right click in the frame and you can rotate around your character so that you can see them from a better angle if you so choose and as you can see, there's a number of sliders here that can adjust different things. And if you want to set them back to zero, you can just enter zero in there, hit enter, and it drops it back to zero. So I'm quite happy with shoulders being slightly wider than usual. Got kind of tennis player shoulders, but I don't really want to mess with any of the rest of these. Arms, you can adjust a number of properties about those. You can increase the size of their forearms. You can make them like Popeye if you want to. But uh, again, I wouldn't potentially probably not going to mess around with that this time hands I'm not going to mess around with either chest is an obvious one that you can go to you can actually increase the depth of the chest if you come inside view you can actually increase the size of the chest like so if you want to I'm not going to I don't want my character to have unusual proportions but what you can do is obviously those breast scale option that you know I've no doubt <laughs> A number of um, people watching this video will want to know about yes you can indeed give them bigger boobs and you can also adjust the size and shape of the boobs pretty much the same as you can in previous in other apps you can adjust the nipple height as well you can go into the back there's no no actual options in the back but in the waist we can adjust the abdomen scale so we can make them freakishly thin I'm not going to do that too much. I might pull it in ever so slightly, but I'm not going to mess around with too much. And you can also give them um, a, a sticky out your belly as well if you want to. Next thing we can do is we can go to uh, the center line depth. You can actually increase the muscle tone in their stomach. Again, I'm not going to mess around with that right now. I'm just going to leave that on default. And you can adjust the navel as well. Hips. Again, the same thing we can adjust the length of the hip which is the distance between the belly button and the pubic bone you can increase the size of the hips by opening and closing that slider there I'm going to leave that at zero and you can adjust the width of the hips as well which is the, dif the distance between the inner thigh essentially happy days and you can also give them more love handles look I'm not going to play with that either glutes let's spin around to the back we can adjust the size of the bum 
and we can also adjust the height so you can give them a big old booty if you want to that to me looks freaking freaking ridiculous so i'm gonna actually get leave that pretty much bang on dead center and also going to drag that back to kind of normal as well but the options there if you want to play around with it and then the same thing you can give them bigger legs you can adjust the legs here there and everywhere and then same with the feet and that's the kind of the overall body proportions and then we can come in close and we can actually start looking at the head so let's do that let's just zoom in on the head and now you can adjust some of those things there you can give them kind of specific uh, per people's heads if you so choose you can also adjust the scale the outer width so you can give them a slightly different shaped head you can give them a thin face if you want to by pulling in the cheekbones a little bit these are the kind of overall skull morphs you can go into finer detail further on once we get into here you can see center depth you can actually make the center of the face stick out a little bit more a little bit less and then you can come into the skull and again you can adjust the skull width to give them an egghead or whatever you want to do we're just going to keep playing with these um i don't really care so much about the back of the head but you could give them a slightly larger dome if you wanted to it's up to you come into the forehead now we can adjust the temple width so if you pull that in, you can actually really kind of indent the head in. I don't really want it to be too mad, but we'll play around with it for the sake of playing around with it. And then you can also adjust the curve of the forehead. If I pull that out, you can see that it adjusts both ways. Uh, kind of leave it where it is pretty much. Then we can adjust the brow. Come in slightly at an angle again. We can adjust the brow's height. We can bring them in lower can make them further or what or further apart or closer together for the eyebrows you can also adjust the brow depth if you have a character who's got kind of a slightly more neanderthal shaped head and you can also adjust the angle of the eyebrows if you've got like a evil character or a really sad character you can adjust those things in the morphs as well like so and we can go for the eyes you can change the eye scale you can make them look really kind of crazy uh, i'm going to leave that at zero eye height you can adjust the height what i would suggest is if you're going to play with these settings is be very aware that when it comes to eyes the tiniest little adjustment can make or break your character if you're not sure of what you want to do with the character you you know there's nothing wrong with having a play but if you go too far in one direction very quickly you can end up with a very alien looking creature which you didn't necessarily want so just be mindful of that when you're actually creating or adjusting these sliders because it's very easy to make an otherwise awesomely designed character and make them look terrible. Is they are what they are. I mean, you can adjust size and scale of them if you want to. Cheeks is the next thing I'm going to go for. You can give a massive cheekbones and make them look really weird. I'm just going to give a slightly enlarged cheekbones and I'm going to raise them up a little bit, not too much. Like we're talking fractions of a difference if you're when you look at the average person's face you don't realize you're doing it but the tiniest little difference in millimeters we're talking about can completely change the way that a person looks that's why when someone goes to have a facelift they look like a completely different person even though all they've essentially done is had a layer of skin or two peeled off so when it comes to making adjustments to these sliders make sure that you're aware of the tiniest little the most minute changes can make a big difference there we go so we've got cheeks nose again same thing with the nose you can make or break a character by messing around with this slider too much so i don't want my character to have a particularly wide nose um now remember to keep moving around when you look at things like your nose depth and things like that because you don't want to have a character that looks great from the front and then looks absolutely awful from the side because bear in mind if you're going to be doing animations which is kind of the whole point of this software then it's going to be necessary to just make sure that you're aware of these things and again the amount of customization that you can do to these characters right from the get-go bear in mind i haven't got any um, packs installed or anything this is all default settings the amount of customization you can do with these characters is actually quite amazing um, you've basically got everything you need to create 
infinite number of characters. Now, her mouth height I'm kind of happy with. Mouth scale I'm quite happy with. Mouth depth I'm not going to mess around with. Filter and width maybe just bring that out slightly and increase the tone of smidge. You can increase or decrease the thickness of your character's lips. I'm going to go kind of have puff her lips up a little bit. And then the rest of the morphs are for teeth, which I'm not going to mess around with because why would I? The jawbone. Now we're here, we can have a look at the controls that we've got here. I'm going to keep this slightly sideways on. We can give them a big old Desperate Dan looking jaw, or we can keep it fairly natural looking. I'm going to kind of leave the scale natural. You can increase and decrease the height of the jaw. The corner height is the kind of property that's going to adjust the shape of the jaw in terms of how square it is. And if you go define, now if you'll notice what's happened to me there is something that I've, I'm mindful of is that if you go too far you'll end up with this really weird looking sharp ridge. So have a defined jaw by all means but don't go too mad because you can make your character look really bizarre. I'm actually going to pull that back in slightly so that she looks more feminine. There we go. Chin, same kind of thing. We can adjust the height of the chin if we want to. I'm going to just bring it slightly that way. You can give her a thick chin if you want to. And then you can also adjust its forwards and backwards position. You can make her look sort of a little bit more uh, square jawed. But I kind of like more or less the default. Maybe in slightly from default. Neck. You can adjust the neck height and the neck width. You can make her thick neck. Kind of like muscular. And then you can give her a giraffe neck if you want to. Personally, not my cup of tea, but you know, having a slightly longer neck is considered attractive. Now, expressions, you can give them a permanent kind of expression. So, for example, you can give her a slight smirk to one side if you wanted to, make her look a bit more alive. And there are loads and loads of properties there. I'm not going to mess with those because there's just no need to, okay? And then if you have other things installed, like I have got one pack installed of Digital Human, uh, that gives you sliders that you can play around with there, but you don't need to. You can even adjust the scale of the eyelashes. You can make them longer or shorter. You can adjust the angle that they are. You can adjust the outer angle. You know, So there's an awful lot of things that you can play with here if you want to. And you can also play around with the nails if you so choose. But... Thanks very much for watching that, guys. It's a little whistle-stop tour of Character Creator 4 and how you can go about creating a character from scratch. You're going to look at, in future videos, things like adding clothing and hair to them and where you can find the textures to actually adjust them and, and apply your own kind of things to, this, to the character skin as well. Thanks very much for watching that, guys. I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye. <laughs>